Alright, it is Tuesday, and it's 12.56, and the gardener just got here. They just blow everything around, but they don't pick it up. Yeah, that was the extent of the leaf blowing.
Sunny house. See what they did. Looks slightly better than it usually does, but I can guarantee that we just saw them pull away. They are completely they're using the leaf blower for. To blow all of the leaves into the tree. 
hand up there. You can see they did not pick them up. They just blew them around. This is what they so desperately need the leaf blower for. They didn't pick any of this up. They just blew it into the sides. This is what they always do. This is actually better than what they usually do. You can see they left this trash that blew in here, all these leaves. Just go around the whole side of the yard and it continues. Here is um, one of their water bottles. They left all of this here. This is how long it's been that they've been doing this, is that Bosley's toy is compacted into the pile of leaves that they're creating. I don't know how much they're being paid, but so here it is all built up on the tree. More leaves they didn't pick up. Here is what they've done to the grass. Here's all the trimmings they left. They have killed the grass here. Um, as you can see, there is no grass. That's what they call trimming that tree, apparently. Nick and I put this in when we moved in. We put these nice things around here with mulch. So this was not here a year ago. They obviously have not cut it in a year. So this is what the backyard looks like. They didn't put my sprinkler system back up. This is what they did to my flowers. I spent six hours when we moved in putting flowers in here. And this is what it is now. We left the flowers all except this thing. This is what they call trimming this bush. And they actually didn't do this today. They did this a while ago. So they packed it up. Left all this hanging out. the damage they keep doing to my car. This is where they have continuously hit my car with this fence, which we see them do on the video from today at least twice. There's all that coming down. They just leave that there. Pollen that they didn't touch. All that is growing into the garage again. Nick and I have cut all of this down about two or three times, I think. So the side of the house, these are all dead. This is all dead. They didn't cut any of this. These also used to be potted flowers that I planted. Not anymore. Here's all the leaves they didn't bother to do anything to. Here is what the trees look like. As you can see, they, um, they didn't look like this when I moved in. Now, <laughs> I 
every time I come out here, I don't even know what to say. Here. This is nice and dead. They did that as well. There's all this other stuff. This is actually their bin and their bucket and their stuff that they leave here. That doesn't belong to either Courtney or Nick or I. This is what they think is acceptable trimming for this plant here. Um, not what it looks like in any form. That is apparently acceptable. Uh, this plant actually isn't planted. It was in a pot that they allowed to fall over and now it just grows out of it. They haven't fixed that. Here's all these little fruits um, that they didn't pick up. They didn't pick up any of that. They just blow it back into the bushes. I don't know why they put this potted plant here in the midst of... This just happened the last time they got these flowers down. But they put this potted plant in here. I don't understand why. <laughs> I'm not a gardener. Uh, this is what they think is acceptable trimming. They haven't done this in quite a while. So this used to be nice and round. Um, and this is what they are supposedly, they're supposedly trimming this. They didn't cut any of this. I mean, this is stuff that it's just really kind of simple, basic thing. This is what they've allowed this vine to become. Um, it climbed all the way up this tree here before um, we finally emailed about last year and asked to cut it. Now it's going back up. Um, they also allowed it to grow over this potted plant. So this potted plant here is completely taken over by this vine. This is a potted plant. I've actually gone under there and looked. Um, this is also a potted plant. This is <laughs> the side of the house. Um, oh, this is where he just dumped the leaves. So as you can see, they don't do anything here either. Um, this is all this. I cut it when I can, but there's only so much I can do. This hasn't been touched in so long that it's gigantic spider webs and I'm scared of spiders. And this, supposedly they're using the leaf blower to rake up all the grass is what I've been told. However, as you saw, they killed all the grass in the backyard. And here's the grass that they just cut with the weed whacker. And as you can see, they didn't leaf blow or break or do anything with any is what's being paid for. So I don't know what they're being paid to do. So if, the, if this is what they're being paid to do, then, you know, whatever. But um, I just really don't think that it is. Um, I'm here every day, and I happen to be here when they started today, so I thought I would record it because based on the email Courtney got it, it sounds like you're being lied to. And I know that we are. This is they say they're using leaf forward to pick all this up, pick up all the leaves, but obviously they have not done any of that at all. Um, it's a shame because I really love this place and it, it, you know, it has so much potential to be so pretty and they've killed everything. And they've killed everything and they leave it to look like this. Here's another pot of they killed. Um, you know, they don't put the hose back. So here's the, they just leave it sitting out. Um, 
And it's funny because Nick and I have a rake that I use to clean up after them when it gets too bad, which we leave here. We also own the clippers, which we leave here. And they never use them. So they don't even have to bring them. Um, it's really a shame. It's such a big, beautiful property. And uh, I put a lot of work into it last year. But, um, you know, I have one yard care day a week. And, um, I do everything I can in that day, but, you know, we all work. And they're supposed to be working, but I, I really don't think this is what they're being paid to do. Unless they're being paid, like, $5. This might be $5 worth of work, in which case I'd rather just do it myself. I feel like I'd do a better job. Um, so, this is what our backyard looks like. My flowers are gone. There's no grass, all the leaves just get left around, they leave their water bottles on the ground, um, I just don't know, it's a real shame, it's a, it's a real pretty place, I'd really love to plant, spend the time to plant grass back here, but if it's going to be anything like my flower patch, um, why waste my money? It's really a shame. It really sucks. But, um, the damage my car again is going to be a massive problem. This is not going to come off. Okay. Yeah, so that's coming from, from them hitting it with the spots, which they did twice. They don't trim this at all. Courtney actually trimmed this. Um, this is the best we can do because we're not gardeners. Um, but they don't pick up any of this. They don't trim it. This is good looking. That's it. As you can see, how messy it is. It's really just... It's broken the gate. Just hanging out. It comes out of the house, climbs into the house, goes up the stairs. I've cut, I cut that like every week because I think it climbs up the, the house. Um, I, <laughs> I guess this is what they consider acceptable gardening. So, um, that's what it is. That's how long they're here. That's what they do when they're here. And this is what it looks like when they leave. So, um... I just thought it might be good to show. Um, we can complain all we want, but it's not until you really see it that, you know, we don't want to be difficult, but this is, this is bad. It's such a pretty property.